Hello lovely people. I welcome you once again to Bright and Clara's channel. Thank you for clicking. This is episode 10 on Madame Kate's project. Alright, so this project is located at Winneba. And my team is there fervently and ensuring that everything goes very well with Madame Kate's project. So Madame Kate is having a pitched roof and this type of roof we're going to use the shingles. Yeah, the shingles are beautiful and stronger. They can withstand all kinds of weather unlike the aluminum roofing sheets. I prefer she go for the shingles because the shingles will make the house more beautiful than that of the aluminum sheet. So in your view are the block plan okay and always ensure that the 3d is matching with the block plan because sometimes people give you some designs like the one we have on the top you know and then when it gets to the finishing it goes like oh uh, let's modify it let's do it a different way sometimes the 3d does not usually or always match the block plan so don't let your architect deceive you all right so previously from episode 9, we, we were almost done with the blog work, which is a substructure, as you see. For the purposes of education, if you are watching and you are new, this is a substructure. Okay, yes. So we have the foundation, the substructure, and that of the roofing. This is just a single story. Okay, this is just a ground floor building. It's a three-bedroom plus an outhouse okay the outhouse is a maid's cottage or a maid's room okay so it's just a small room if we put that together then we can say it's a four bedroom house okay yes and the steel fixer Isaac Gomado has also done his steel works the estimated cost for the substructure alone is $7,635 okay yes that is the estimated cost of the substructure are you with me but the total cost of this project is around twenty two thousand dollars okay twenty two thousand dollars as at the time when i prepared the estimate as of last year 2022 you understand and we started the project last year 2022 and this year 2023 we are continuing with the substructure. Oh, sorry, bro. I think the sun went into his eyes. Uh, it's not easy. Yeah, so the substructure work, once completed, the carpenter would have to come and board so that we can cast all the pillars. You understand? We can cast all the pillars. So my words have been honored. I have been faithful yes that when we say we do we do you understand yes when I speak to my team I ensure that they carry the same vision that I carry we don't take someone's job and then you know switch off our mobile phone hanging around if you call he's busy we don't do that we don't do that so I am very strict with my team because I am not in Ghana and it is my words that makes people, you know, put their money out there and say, we are going to do this because of Mr. Bright. You understand? We are going to do this because of Mr. Bright. And I'm so happy that through that, we have built that confidence, you know, such that you know that you have a trusted channel where you can go and get your house built. So the pillars have been bored and casted you understand now you can see that the appreciable height of this blog work is 10 cores okay we laid from the foundation um, oversight all the way to the top okay this is 10 cores and this is an ideal height if you want to achieve that so right from here when we remove the board we are going to do what we call the lintel okay we're gonna 
the, uh, the steel bender would have to come in place an iron bar on top of the block work all around and then the carpenter would also come to place the board and then we'll cast the lintel right after the lintel we would have to continue the blog work so for the purposes of those who ask that after the lintel how many costs of the blog can you lay um, I think that may vary for ideally we lay three costs after the lintel some will prefer to go four costs after the lintel or even five costs after the lintel it all depends on the design or the heights that you want to achieve are you with me some people prefer to go 11 cores even before the lintel instead of the normal 10 cores now if you go 11 cores your window size will look different you understand yes so it, it will change the look of the wind which of course it doesn't mean that it is bad it only gives it a different look which i think is is also pretty nice it makes it longer you understand it makes it longer so yes 10 cores then the lintel and then after the lintel you can go four cores four cores is pretty much cool such that we are going to do a pitched roof in a pitched roof when they put the wood trusses there's something we call the ceiling noggins or the ceiling buttons okay those will be dropped down a little bit they will definitely take one full block you understand so you will then come back to your normal 10 cores the lintel and then the three cores block such that when you do your plasterboard or your pop designs you will still have your three meters height in the room in that way when you have your ceiling fan and all the um, pendant lights you know and all of that they will not drop down such that when you raise your hands you'll be hitting things here and there you understand so those are the th few things you need to consider the type of blog we used here was six inches hollow block okay six inches hollow block it's a three bedroom all on suite it has a family area living area a dining a kitchen a kitchen store um one garage okay a laundry very well detailed very well detailed okay so you can see that some of the board have been shifted to other location because you don't necessarily have to buy the board for the entire building we can do a, sh a shifting okay yes once you cast maybe a, a half of the pillars they can remove it and then the carpenter would board it for another half of the pillars and then those pillars can be casted so it is a way of reducing unnecessary costs so you can see that right after the lintel, they've laid up to four cores. You understand? Up to four cores. This will give the room a very good ample space up there and very airy. You know, you can have fresh air. You understand? It makes it beautiful, actually. It makes it beautiful. It makes it beautiful. So again, they would have to cast those pillars those short short pillars up there which is the after lintel work now once this is done then we are ready for the roofing so as per the design of the roof the carpenters will come and place the wood trusses once they place the wood trusses and all of that areas that requires we filling in the blocks we would have to fill in the blocks to get the shape of the roofing you understand yes so as of now we are almost about 80 percent done with our work okay um yes 80 percent done with the block work okay it's just some few touches then we're gonna hit a hundred percent when it comes to the structural work are you with me yes so I think I am I'm so proud of myself and proud of my team that together 
we've been able to achieve this for Madam Kate. I'm happy for her that she's finally gotten her dream home. Everything is perfect, no mistake. The quantity of cement used blocks, the iron rods, her money has been utilized wisely. Okay, at her age, she, she's not going to worry that her money has gone missing. She's not going to be chasing anybody for, hey, I need my money. Hey, I need you to do this for me. Everything has been done because she located the right people. You understand? And I'm happy for her. And I urge you out there, if you need our help, Please do not hesitate to contact me. My name is Mr. Bright. I'm the CEO of BNC Construction. And you can email me at brightantonio at outlook.com. All right. So again, we'll be coming with your way with episode 11. This is episode 10. In episode 11, you'll be seeing the final works. And then we'll move on to the roofing. All right. Yes. Aren't you happy for Madam Kate? I think you need to drop some emojis for Madam Kate. <laughs> All right, lovely people. So I look forward to hearing from you in case you need an estimate. I will charge you $60. Okay, prepare the estimate for you. And once it is approved, you can either give me the work to do or you can buy the materials and my team will go and work for you. From me to you, it's shalom. God bless you wherever you are. Bye-bye.